and what's going on fellow youtubers fontaine here and in today's video we're going to answer some questions as you can see on the layout which is very intuitive on the new mk3 that the left and right buttons are actually removed in the transport so the question was geared towards how do i move the scrubber tool you know if you want to call it the scrubber if you want to call it the playhead the choice is up to you i call it a scrubber tool or a playhead but to do this it's very simple first thing that you want to do is you want to exit the mixer screen click on arranger as you see under the section, we have the sections as well as the patterns. And I'll just jump on the pattern icon for right now to make this easier to display here. And using the four directional encoder, what we want to do is we want to press shift along with the four directional encoder, turning the knob clockwise or counterclockwise. Counterclockwise will move the scrubber tool to the left. Clockwise will move the scrubber tool to the right. So we hold shift. And as you can see there, it begins to navigate. You can see here as well as in the software. So now you know how you can get in there and find certain parts of your song, press play. Very simple, very easy to navigate anywhere in your track. All right, so say if you want to get a little more intricate, a little more detailed for whatever reason, you know, you have the ability to zoom in and out of your patterns here on the hardware controller which can make life very easy from the hardware controller. And again, we have a basic membership, which is $9.99 with no monthly fees if you wanna learn Native Instruments Machina very quickly and very easily. Okay, so again, let's say if we want to get into doing some things a little more intricate into the pattern. In the software, what we can do is we can go under where we have bar, we have half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, as well as 16th notes. Okay, so we were just moving the scrubber tool by bars. So let's go ahead and put it on half notes like so. Again, we'll press shift and move the four direction encoder. And as you see right now, it's jumping by half bars. Okay, meaning from in its current position from four to five, this would be a bar. You know, going like this here, this would be a bar, but being that we have no half notes, it's going only to the end of four two. Then from four two, going to the beginning of the fifth bar. So in other words, that's jumping by half notes. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to quarter notes. As you can see right there, it's getting a little more finer, a little more detail there. As you can see right there from the fourth bar to the end of four, one, beginning on four, two, and so on and so on. You get the idea. Pretty simple, straightforward, very easy. And of course we can get even more detail than that. We can go to eighth notes. You can see right there, it's getting in between. Very fine. And finally ending it off on 16th notes, which is the maximum amount that you can move this tool like this here. Okay, by disabling this, we will default back to jumping by bars. As you can see there. All right, man, so I hope that answers your question. Again, this is Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website. We have uh, a basic membership, which is $9.99 with no monthly fees. And we just have a new, um, a new MK3 course that we just released as well. And we have some special treats that are gonna be released for you guys pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. Can't talk about that right now, but we have some very, yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not gonna talk about that right now. But we got something very, very special um, coming out for you guys. Uh, pretty soon. So um, that's pretty much it, man. I hope to answer your questions. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to hit me up. It's your boy Fontaine. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.